They've been told not to come. But this great migration seems unstoppable. Borders are shut, barriers erected, and men in uniform use force. And still, every single day, people chance everything to cross into Europe, with just a bag of clothes and dreams of peace and prosperity. What world has six-week-old Jana been delivered into? What forces her parents to risk the life of their newborn child? Their answer is what fuels this crisis, the war in Syria. It's been called the deepest circle of hell. Yamuk has become a byword for the barbarity of this war. The area's dwindling residents struggle merely to stay alive. The pianist of Yamuk has provided a soundtrack to this suffering. For four years, he played songs of defiance. But now, even Aham Ahmed has lost hope. And he's on the move, across the border and into Turkey. A stranger in foreign lands. A little lost and lonely, but desperate to search out a new home, a new life for his young family. The worst times were when I used to hear my son Ahmed crying in the night. He was hungry, but there wasn't any milk. Those were the hardest times of my life. I've never faced anything worse than that. There's sadness and pain in my heart. For three years, I was happy with my children, Ahmed and Kinan. Now I can only see them on the phone. Having crossed illegally, Aham moves through the shadows, avoiding the police planning the next step by bus across the country to the port city of Izmir. Syria is far away now. I'm trying to start a new life, safe from everything that's happening at home. I'm now heading to the sea in Turkey, and I'm really scared. I'm scared for my children I've left behind. I'm scared of the sea. Will it play nice, or will it be the kind of sea which took the child's life a few days ago? The deaths of other children made him leave his family behind for now. Every passing mile offers new hope, but only takes him further from home. Along the coast, thousands of Syrians plan and wait. Greece, Europe and a new life are just across the water. There's excitement of where they might go and fear of the journey ahead. I'm thinking about timing. There was no wind before. Now the weather is getting windier and colder, and the waves are higher. A route's planned, a smuggler's paid, and the waiting begins. At dawn on the Greek island of Lesbos, more refugees and migrants arrive. But Aeon's not here. He's kept on edge for days before the call finally comes. Aham and his uncle agree to film their crossing. It's a remarkable record of a journey that offers new life, but also carries the risk of death. The pianist of Yarmouk is now silent and scared. Packed into a boat, barely fit for the journey, as it sputters across the sea and finally to Greece. I'm now out of danger, the danger of drowning, and hopefully I'll be able to reach somewhere safe where I can bring my family over, because anywhere would be even more beautiful with Ahmed, Kinan, and my wife. And I had their photos in hand. My wife sends me their photos. Hello, 
When Ahan set out, the route from here to Germany looked almost clear. Today, the refugees face yet more dangers and fears. But that won't stop them coming. As long as the threat of death hangs over them in Syria, people like the pianist of Yarmouk will head this way. Ian Panel, BBC News, on Lesbos.